It feels like an absolute age since we've worked on this bike. With all the work on the container, I've just not had the time to do anything with it. But today, I thought I'd give you a little update. Let's get straight into it, and welcome to the channel. So since the last video, not a lot has actually happened with the bike. The only thing I actually have done is taken off the top mount so I can go and get it dyed and it's just held on with a cable tie at the moment. I even did some masking on the tank just to kind of like look towards the design aspect of it and see what kind of things would look good with this style. But we'll leave that for today. That's another episode on its own. We've got shocks back on the bike. They're literally just placed on for now just to hold the wheel up. Um, we do need to clean these up. I was planning on getting some other branded shocks, but these are actually all right. They just need a good scrub up. So that again will be a later on later on in the episode. But that's not what we're looking at today. We are looking at hand controls, grips, everything that goes on the bars. We've got some cool grips, some even cooler switches, and some levers. So let's just get straight into the video. Man, I look tired. I need a coffee. I really need a coffee. First of all, we're going to talk about these levers. Now these levers, oh, I got them a bit cheap off the internet. Yes, they're not genuine Brembo um, levers, but they actually look really decent quality. These are literal just basic levers, clutch side, brake side. They have the option where you can remove the lever or even if you want to just flip it out the way. So yeah, pretty simple. There isn't much really to talk about these. So, with the actual throttle control, I went with the Domino throttle control just to keep it nice and simple. It costs about £60, I'll link it down below if you're interested in something like this. But again, just a nice little part, very simple, straight to the point, and does the job. The grips now. These Vans motorcycle grips. I went with these just because I really like the design on them. They've got the waffle shoe design. My vans, that's basically it. They have the same waffle pattern of the sole of your shoe. Um, but yeah, it's just a little cool thing. I, I really like van shoes. Why am I still holding my shoe? And I just thought these would fit the style of the bike. And just again, something a bit different. I do believe you can get these in different sizes for different handlebar fitments. Nice straightforward, nice part. Last but not least, the controls. These are Rebel Moto switches supplied by our friend at ASE Custom Motorcycles. He was the one that helps us out with the carbs on the XJ650. He also sells these parts through his web store. Go and check them out. These are some really cool switches. Go and check him out. He does some really cool builds too. But yeah, these switches, these are Moto Gadget compatible, so that means they work with your M unit and they also light up. So just a bit of bling factor, really. But anyway. These are super cool. The combination of all these parts together should look really nice on the handlebars. So let's stop talking and let's get everything unboxed and put on the bike.
I personally think they look amazing. I know it's a short video, I've got so much going on with the container and I'm working literally every single day and night to fund it, to get it, things done in there, um, leaving not much time with the bike for now. But I have been accepted into Bike Shed 2020, which means I do have now that deadline of May the 22nd, I believe, to get the bike done. So I've got my work cut out for me. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you like the grips and the controls and the buttons. I cannot wait to get it all plumbed in, wired up and everything just working on this bike. So please smash that like button, subscribe if you're new, and I shall see you in the next video. Peace.